Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, coming to you live and greasy because I just put on my uh, glowy primer. I'm about to do my makeup. Finally starting off one of these vlogs with something other than a Target haul. We are actually in the middle of a photo shoot, well, photo shoot prep right now. Backdrop design by Maya. This will make more sense in a moment. We've also got the professional lighting being set up. Rel, of course, is here. <laughs> It's apparently a workout to um, put together these big old soft boxes. Yes. These really big lights give a really nice effect. So we got these in the quote unquote studio today. Backdrop sand needs to be put up. We are gonna have several different setups going on today because today I am shooting photos for my podcast. It's been a long time coming. I've been literally talking about this podcast for about, I would say an entire year now. I know it was like beginning of last year that I really started like mentioning it to you guys, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. Based on some of the things I've said, I've made it seem like I've been working, like actively working on this podcast maybe even you thought I was recording episodes and everything like this whole entire time that's not what's been going on I've been thinking about doing a podcast I've been brainstorming episode ideas I've been coming up with the name for the podcast different little things like that but in terms of like actually starting the podcast like getting the photos done setting up everything recording episodes getting the equipment like the actual things that need to be done that didn't start happening until uh like last week <laughs> just because i've been busy with other things but things are happening now let me show you actually besides the photo shoot that we got going on today i ordered all this equipment um i wanted to have you know the best of the best equipment so i could give you guys the best audio quality so i got these really nice mics that were recommended the mic stands actually two different mic stands the recorder which this is all new for me like learning how to use this how to get all these cables something called a cloud lifter just all this like extra stuff that i had to buy taylor's husband lando works kind of like he's in the music industry so he knows a lot about like audio and microphones and things like that so he was able to come over the other night and literally teach me how to set this up and how to use it because I've never, like I know a little bit about basic microphones, like, you know, like my Yeti mic that I have here that I do voiceovers with, but when it comes to this more advanced equipment and how to get like that professional sound for podcasting, I'm learning from scratch. So super thankful for Lando. Um, so we did that the other day. Of course, this is not the final setup. I have to hide all the wires, make it look all clean and professional. And then I also have to figure out what I'm gonna do temporarily in my office because my office is not decorated yet, but I'm gonna be filming the podcast in here and I don't want it to look like this. So there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to this podcast, more than what I anticipated um, when you think about all the different aspects of it. And again, one of those aspects is the photos that I need so that I can make the graphics for, you know, it's gonna have a YouTube channel, it's gonna have its own Instagram page, all those things, and I need content and graphics to be able to post onto those pages. So that's what we're doing the photo shoot for today. Also for kind of the main, I don't know what it's called, I'm calling it like an album cover image that represents my podcast. I wanna get like a really cool photo for it today. And we have a couple of different concepts that go along with the name. So more on that later. In the meantime, I'm running behind today and I really need to do my makeup. Hair is done. It came out I, but I really need to do my makeup so that we can um, get started taking these photos and then I will explain more later. so it's kind of like even more like skinless. Sharing the naked truth, that was Rel's little tidbit. <laughs> 
So we did somewhere it was like a smaller hole and then we ripped it open even more. It turned out really cute. I'm excited for these. Then of course we got the post-it notes, which I keep stepping on. We've got like two other setups that we need to do. We're running out of time, so we need to hurry it up. Alright, so a couple hours later, we are about to shoot some photos in here in my office. Just this little temporary setup with the chair and the plant in the background. Microphone, laptop, so we can be like, hey guys, I'm making a podcast type photos. <laughs> Big swole <laughs> rail can't fit through the door. morning party people i am really tired i'm trying to get myself up and going i'm making some coffee right now to get ready for my shoot today we are doing another shoot for the podcast today we already did one photo shoot and the pictures did turn out really good and we did get like multiple different types of photos which was good but after like reviewing the photos and talking more about what i wanted to do for the podcast instagram page and stuff like that we just realized that we needed more photos especially for the main launch of the podcast i'm really trying to have something really cute and aesthetically pleasing and have all the like photos and the graphics and like do it right and make it cute so that means we need to have another photo shoot today and it is supposed to be happening in about an hour. <laughs> I'm running a little late. I actually went out last night. I don't go out like that very much, but Rel and Taylor were with us along with Daisha and Sadie and just the whole crew, but we stayed out until like 3.30 a.m. last night. So to get up this morning and do this shoot, it is a little bit of a struggle, but the grind don't stop. We work on the weekends around here and that's just what we do. I also feel like I've done a really bad job actually vlogging this process because over the past week, Taylor, Rel, and I have already had two really in-depth, really long meetings about the podcast and I meant to vlog parts of those meetings just so y'all could get the actual behind the scenes of like what we're talking about and what we're doing and what all goes into it. But I've just been honestly so, I don't wanna say stressed, but it's down to the wire and I really want this podcast to be great and I've been talking about it for a long time and I've got a lot, a lot of other things going on in my life at the same time that I'm trying to get this podcast started. And so I've kind of just been powering through everything, like kind of tunnel vision. Bougie, stop. I've kind of had tunnel vision and I'm just like, let's just get it done, let's just get it done. And I keep forgetting to vlog the actual behind the scenes moments to share with you guys. Like I really wanted to share the process with you guys, but I feel like I'm not doing a good job. What? Anyways, I really wanted to share like every little step of the behind the scenes process with you guys in this vlog, but it's like I'm so focused on just getting the task done that I keep forgetting to vlog it. Sorry about that, but just know that there's been lots of meetings, in-person meetings, Zoom meetings. It, I can't even, I don't even know how to explain like what we've been doing and what we've been working on and what all, like kind of what all has gone into it so far. Cause you would think like it's a podcast. All you have to do is record yourself talking and upload it. Like it's not even, it's literally just an audio file. That's what I thought too. Until I looked at how other people were doing their podcasts, other people that I look up to. And I noticed kind of the extra flair that they put into it as far as like doing the video version, having an Instagram page, having like these graphics and the branding and the little theme song and the little video graphics and the Instagram story slot, like all this like custom stuff that has to be prepped ahead of time. It's just, it's a lot. And I did not, I wasn't prepared. Anyways, I'm gonna drink this coffee and I'm going to I have to redo my hair because it kind of got messed up. Got to do my makeup. And we are going to try to get through this shoot today. Y'all already know the drill. Squad in the building. Yes. Crocs on deck. Uh, we got the big lights and the big backdrop. We've actually never used the big mama. <laughs> There's Rail trying to sneak on in. All right, so we are part of the way through the photo shoot. We definitely got some really good photos in like two different looks. Um, we got a lot of different options. 
Unfortunately, we have run into a snag. It happens. So we're renting these pro photo, really professional strobe lights. But a second ago, we took a break from shooting. I was changing my outfit and I came back ready to shoot this outfit. And then we heard like a weird like pop click sound, like the actual power source of the lights like popped. And we were like, well, what was that? And then now it won't turn on. Rel called the place that he rented it from. They were not very helpful. They really didn't know. They're like, oh, just maybe it's overheating. Just let it cool down. So we let it cool down. That still didn't work. And so we're like trying to Google what's wrong with it. And we think we might know what the solution is, but it's not a solution that we can do ourselves right now. So in the meantime, in between time, this is when you just have to problem solve and think on the fly because this stuff happens. So we are gonna try and get a similar effect using my little softbox lights that I own and his other little flash on the camera. Of course, these lights give you a super like studio effect because they're like these huge flash lights. But I feel like we can still make it work with like our little lighting and our little flash because I just needed to get some more photos in a different outfit. This is the life of content creation. Everything ain't peaches and rainbows, peaches and cream all the time. Behind the scenes, a whole ladder out. <laughs> this is what it takes. <laughs> So y'all can see the difference between my little softbox lights that I own that I always use versus the big mama lights that we rented to get the super professional effect. So it all kind of boils down to your equipment. You gotta know what you're doing as far as lighting and stuff like that. But this, this should still work. We got a ring light, two soft boxes, and the flash on the camera to hopefully give somewhat of It's better of the than effect. just a flash by itself. Okay. Look at Taylor, yeah, big chilling, like all curled up. We are wrapping up the shoot. Well, it's wrapped. Uh, backdrop has been removed. Equipment has been packed. Table is being put back. And we're gonna put this ladder back and you would have never known that we had a full photo shoot going on in here. We made it work, even with the mishap with the light. The light never turned back on, unfortunately, the strobe lights, but we made it work. We got some really good photos even after that. I have a lot to work with now as far as everything I need for the podcast, plus some extra stuff. And I already got my photos because Rel gave me the memory card, so they're already on my computer. So I can give this back to him. And now we are gonna go get some sushi. sushi. We're really hungry. It's sad. This is like our first meal of the day, for real. Literally, I've had, what time is it? 5.14 and I've only had coffee. I had coffee and a few bites of banana bread, and now this cooking from Whole Foods that expired two days ago, but I think it's fine. <laughs> So right now I'm using my iPad and Apple Pencil to further edit some of the photos from the photo shoot to put on my website. Um, so I've already, oops, I've already edited this photo to look like it's ripped on the sides. Obviously we have the real rips around my face, but this is like Photoshop on the side to make it look like it's ripped. I want this to look more like I'm ripping through a note that I wrote, a giant piece of paper from my notebook that I actually wrote on, to-do list, a giant post-it note, something like that, and then like I'm ripping through it. So I'm gonna use this to write on top of the paper. I don't know. This is kind of giving the vibe. And then what I could do is adjust it and erase certain parts to make it like really fit on the paper. I feel like that looks pretty realistic as far as like looking like it's really written on the paper. Let me drop it into my website and see how it looks. So I am still using Chloe who originally designed my website, but I'm starting to actually learn how to use the program that she used to design the website. And so I kind of know how to do certain things myself now, which is cool because I don't always have to like ask her to do stuff. I can kind of go in and make little adjustments myself. See here, I just have like the plain one on my website already, but I'm gonna swap it out for the one with the writing on it and just see what that looks like. It might be a little too busy, but I just wanna see. So I'm really trying to have like the on another note, note, handwritten note <laughs> theme throughout everything. Oh yeah, it's cute. I like it. 
is that a little spot on it though that I missed? Okay, boom. And then let's preview it so we can see. So this is when you go to my website, ravenalistv.com. You'll be able to go to ravenalistv.com slash podcast or go to the menu and click podcast. And this is what you'll see for the home page kind of for my podcast. It got the phone graphic with the main graphic here of my podcast so it looks like you know somebody's listening to my podcast on the phone has on another note with Raven Elise a little description let's get real streaming now on these platforms and those like pop up individually as you scroll and then this is the part that I just did myself as far as just wanting it to look like it was ripped on the sides and have the writing on it it's got a little description about the podcast right there scroll down and you have the latest episodes that you'll be able to like click on and take you straight to listen to the latest episodes. I like it. This really ties it together because this image coordinates with my main image now because they both have like the handwritten black text on it. Okay, period. That was like the last little finishing touch for the website page. I'll save it and make it live when the podcast actually launched, but I can't take credit for this. Chloe did the whole thing and then I basically just changed this part. So she did a really good job with like this idea and everything like that. I'm excited, it looks good. Team in the building. We got a big long meeting today to wrap up everything and more. Everybody's filming content. Rel got his phone. Taylor's got her phone on the big stand over here. Getting content for her page. <laughs> It's gonna be real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a time lapse? Oh. I always time lapse. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. Yes, we do. So we've already been talking and planning stuff out for three hours. Yeah. And now it is time for our lunch break. We got Wingstop. This is like our favorite team food. We always get this when we're together. It is. I got Louisiana rub and lemon pepper in case y'all want to know what my Wingstop order is. Taylor got, I thought you said you got uh, strips. That's not strips. No, I mean mild. That looks spicy. Oh, that's mild. Gang's all here. Lunch break is over. We're relocating to the outdoors. Taylor said we need some fresh air. Get our brain. What Taylor say? Do we do? <laughs> the brain juice is weird. What? What I did? Damn, girl, you know what I've been doing. What is that? <laughs> it was water, but it was like that. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> when somebody drink out, you'd be like, are you I was joking, though. I know it was so funny. Oh, man, what a good response. Please. Please. I'm going to use that next time. I only taste water, though. You taste the tea? I think it was just the unexpectedness. It was like, I was going to make Coke and it wasn't. Well, I was way off the Coke. <laughs> It's hard for me to get stuff done, yeah. being a mom in between. We can go get it if it's over there. Oh Lord. Rail to the rescue. Oh, thank you. What is the odds? Uh, she just cruising around in the golf thing. Thank you. Thank so much. you. Got it. Somebody passed by in a golf cart. You got his ass. You can catch it. Lord. See, this is why it's going over the wall. <laughs> Update. It is now six o'clock yes. in the evening. This meeting started at noon and we are still here, still going. We were outside, it started raining, so now we're back inside, back yeah. at the table. Y'all tired? <laughs> That's too damn bad. <laughs> Could you explain to the people what we've been doing and talking about all day? Okay, well the podcast, you guys know, Podcast is coming soon, so we've been getting whoop, whoop. all the way through that. I mean, we like went through with a fine tooth comb today um, and got like the whole launch. Show the proof. Content strategy, yes. Let me show y'all. Well, it's in my notes, y'all, so. Just, just do a quick scroll. Okay, okay, okay. Quick Look at scroll. all that. It's got the whole layout, the type of content, how many pieces for which platforms. Listen, it took us a while mm -hmm. and some lunch, but we got through that. Um, and then and now, a push pop. <laughs> And now we're working through Raven's personal Instagram and we're trying to um, pull the Ray Baby Ray. I don't know if you guys are here long enough to remember that part of Raven, but we're really trying to- From the Tumblr days. From the Tumblr days. We're trying to pull that back out of her because me and Rail, we really miss that. Um, and we think y'all miss that. Actually, go ahead and leave something in the comments and tell Raven to just kind of 
revert back to her DIY days, okay? We're trying to pull that creativity out of her. I know that sounds like a little for the time frame. I know, but y'all don't understand like the, the discussions and the details yeah. that have to be put into each like yes. piece of content. Yeah, it is not just like, oh yeah, we're gonna take a pretty picture of flowers. Like it's not that simple. Each piece of content takes like a full outline. So that's why it's taken us six hours pretty much to get here, but I, I promise you guys like, when you start seeing it being laid out, you'll understand why it took us this long, hopefully. Period. <laughs> Period. It is literally 7.30 at night. We just wrapped up our meeting. They just left. So that is a wrap, finally. And that is also a wrap for this video. Uh, by the time that you guys are watching this video, if you're watching it like on the day or the week that it came out, the podcast is not quite out yet, but it is coming very, very soon from the time that you guys are watching this. All you need to do is stay tuned to my Instagram page. Stay tuned here. Just stay tuned everywhere because I will definitely be updating you guys when the first episode does come out. It's coming very soon. So get ready. I hope you're excited. Let me know in the comments down below what types of topics you would want to hear me talk about. I already have tons of things planned and I've already asked you guys that before, but if you have any other ideas, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I will be taking your requests and yeah, just stay tuned.